All right, you guys, y'all asked for a cutlet recipe making, mixing up, dicing video, and you're about to get it. All right, you guys, these are the ingredients you need to make cutlets. You need a slab of backstrap. I would say about four to six eggs. Fresh parsley. Don't chinch yourself. Fresh parsley. It's got to be fresh. Some Parmesan. I'm actually probably going to use a little Romano. And Italian breadcrumbs. And a little Bertoli olive oil. The stuff you could fry cutlets in. It literally says for frying on the olive oil. That's what I like to use the best. I think this is just a third of a back strap. One third of a back strap. It's still a little frozen. I'm gonna cut this in half. You can hear it still kind of frozen because that almost like filleting a fish. Take that silver skin right off in one nice swoop. Do the same thing with the other side. And I like to use the back strap for cutlets because you can control the thickness that you slice this back strap up in. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice, what I like to do, slice the back strap up into about quarter inch, take about a quarter inch off slices. So you can see slices about that thick, you're going to get about that big. We're going to throw it into our bowl. And this, I like cutting it when it's still just a little frozen in the middle because it's firmed up and you don't, the meat doesn't give as you're cutting it. So you get nice, even, thinner slices. Backstrap in a bowl. We're going to submerge it in water. We're going to take a little salt. Mix it up. And we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Now while your meat is soaking, you can start to prepare your egg batter for the cutlets. You got to have fresh parsley, okay? So you take this parsley. I personally don't think you can have too much of it. I mean, there's going to be like 10 cutlets. Like, look at that. Look at that thing. Yeah, put, put a little bit more in there. So what you're going to do with this parsley is you're going to chop it up real fine. So for this batch, 10, 12 cutlets maybe. I'm going to say four eggs. I go by, I don't know, uh, no, no measurements, okay? It's just a feel thing for me. It's pretty simple. You just make sure all the cutlets get submerged in the egg, the parsley, and what's soon to become the cheese, and that's all you gotta worry about. So we're gonna go four eggs. I would say when you're uh, guessing, if you're second guessing, just err on the side of one more egg. Just err on the side of that, and you'll be fine. There is no science to this. This is all just making good shit better shit. So we got four eggs in there. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I kind of feel like I, I want to err on the side of one more, so we're going to put five. This is the really fun part. You get yourself a fork, okay? You take your parsley, you throw it in the egg. You see that? Now, you take some Parmesan. You do not have to be uh, conservative with this. So dust it in there. Give it a nice dusting. This is supposed to thicken the egg up. Thicken the egg so it can hug onto that cutlet. Whenever you're questioning anything about any of these ingredients, err on the side of one more. So we're gonna blend all that up, get that thing looking like we're gonna make some scrambies, but we're not making scrambies, we're making cutlets. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda hungry. So, this has been sitting for maybe five minutes or so. You can see the venison has completely changed color. Not completely, but you know what I mean. It's, it's lighter, it's more opaque. You can tell it's tender. The salt water is drawing the blood out of the meat. We're gonna let the meat drain for a second. Another very important step. Lay the meat out individually on a paper towel and give it a little dab dab on both sides. I didn't mention this when we first started, but you gotta get yourself a good old mallet. You're gonna take your mallet, okay? 
and you're going to pound out each one of these cutlets. And this, this is where the tedious work comes up. The meat is very vulnerable. Hey, Noah. The meat is uh, very tender, so you don't want to beat the shit out of it, okay? You want to be gentle with your cut. But, you do want to flip it a couple times. And make sure she's fully tenderized. And I'm telling you, you want to pound it so that it's almost see-through. I mean, it's going to be thin. And then all you do is you submerge it in your egg. Get it down in there, make sure it's submerged on all sides, and it looks like so. All right, when they're done, this egg, look at, you can see the parsley sticking to all the cutlets, but you just wanna make sure that each one of them is covered very well in egg. Now the fun part, Move on to breading these bad boys. I like to use the Italian style breadcrumbs. I'm Italian, I know I got a red beard, but that doesn't matter, because I am Italian, and that's why I use Italian crumbs. Pretty straightforward. We're just gonna put some breadcrumb in our dish. I actually like to add a little, I like to add a little Parmesan to the mix. It gives it a little crust, a little crispy crust. This is where we would form the assembly lines, assembly, yeah, the assembly lines. We would form the uh, assembly lines of breading cutlets in college. We do it up at Camp Cutlet, especially when you're making them for a lot of people. You got somebody that's pounding them, you got somebody that's putting them in the egg, you got somebody that's breading them, and then you got somebody that's frying them. And you can bing, bang, boom, send it down the line fairly quickly. So you take the cutlet and you, put, you just put that thing right in the breading right in the breadcrumbs. You cover it up, you give it a little pat, it's covered, you flip it over, you make sure there's no folds, you don't want any folds in your meat, you want to make sure the meat is flat, and you can kind of press down on that meat a little bit too, and kind of tenderize it even more, thin it out even more, and these cutlets, I mean, you'll feel them, they're still, this, this meat is so tender, they're still expanding, I mean, look at how big, this thing is. Nelly, you like cutlets? Look at that thing. I mean, that's, that's a thing of beauty right there. It's glorious. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That, my friends, is a beautiful tray of prepared cutlets. Now it's time to fry. You take your olive oil, you fill the bottom of the pan. You fill it. You make sure there's no space, no empty space with no oil at the bottom of that pan. You go all around until you got a nice coat at the bottom. We're going to cook it on about a six to seven heat or medium to upper medium heat. If you've got a electric skillet, you can cook it at like 375, sometimes even 400. And it's literally going to take about two minutes per side, max. Once you start seeing a little bit of the, the red juice come up through the meat, it's time to flip it. Get it crispy on both sides. You put it here, you pat it dry, you put it on the plate, and you eat a tester. And that's how it's done. It's getting hotter. What you can do is you take a little piece of breadcrumb, you take a little piece of breadcrumb, and you put it down in there. Look at it. It's sizzling. You see it's sizzling? It's sizzling. When that sucker's sizzling, don't waste too much time. We need a fork. So that was sizzling. All we're doing, oh my gosh. Put it right in the oil. You don't want to overcrowd it, but you want to be efficient, you know, because everybody's hungry. You see how you can see that little red coming through right there? See that little red? We're good. Oh my gosh. You guys are perfect. They are perfect. Oh, they're perfect. That oil could probably be turned down just a hair. Those are probably done, honestly. I don't... I'm pulling them. Look at that right there. You see you got a little golden brown on each side. I'm pulling them. That one could be in there a little bit longer. 
That little one right there, that's perfect. That is perfect. Couldn't have, couldn't have made it better myself. We're gonna get some uh, more cutlets in the juices. And then what we're gonna do, somebody get me a freaking lemon in this bitch. Somebody get me a lemon, I got a lemon right here. Somebody get me a knife to cut that thing. You cut that lemon up. You cut that lemon up. You pop the top on the Parmesan. You bring one of these bad boys over here and you give it the old onesie, twosie, threesie. You get four strips for you and your boys. You throw some lemon on that sucker and then you just shower it with some Parmesan. And that thing looks something like this. You don't do anything else. Oh my God. Right out of the pan. Ha! Right out of the pan. That right there, my friends, is not fair. I don't even know what to say. I literally might, might eat all these before we even have dinner. I just took a couple more out, but come on, come back to me. Let's get that thing with some freaking lemon. We got some fucking Parmesan. Oh my God, too much. No, there ain't no, there ain't no too much. Give it the one, two, two, three split. And you just keep going. I mean. All right. Look at these things. Look at that. Wow. All right. Pasta's probably al dante. I don't even care. I mean, fuck. Alright. I don't know. I don't want to offend anyone. I keep saying fuck, but it's my picture. I could say, I could say fuck in my own picture, but I don't even know how to, else to describe it. It's just like fuck. I'm gonna, and you just keep flipping. And then you keep eating. Oh, it's like, fuck. All right, what did you say? Fuck. Fuck. I think we got to do another one. Like, why wouldn't you? Get over here with that lemon and squeeze that shit all over it. Squeeze it and then just shower. Come on. Come on. I mean, yeah, you can't have to. If you err on the side of one more, err on the side of it. Just listen. Give it the old hang. Hang. Oh, I'm gonna have three cutlets. I ain't even sit down yet. I mean, this is fucking crazy. I said, there it goes again. I said, fuck. I keep saying fuck. What, what, what else do you say? I mean, fuck. It's fucking awesome is what it is. Fuck. Oh my god, the lemon? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. That's too fucking good. Y'all, yeah. thank you. I hope this was helpful. I hope you try it. Until then, I'm probably going to be pounding cutlets. Peace.